Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of I'm Walking Around Beside My Buddy Chris in my rugby shorts. <laughs> they have a one-inch inseam. Right now, my underwear are sticking out of them. Yes, they are. And they Preston's saying hi. Yeah. Every time he gets up, yeah. he's like, what's up? I forgot that he was actually coming in. I didn't change my shorts, and now that he's here, I'm just not changing my shorts. <laughs> Good day, YouTube, and we're going to drink this beer that was it's brought not, to me by Greg. Not weird at all. Not right, weird at all. This is a Project X beer from Great Lakes. This is... Harry Porter and the Complicated Coffee Order. It is 6.5% alcohol. It is 18 IBU. Now, we just had a uh, coffee stout from GLB, so this is a coffee porter. Should be a little lighter in body, but this is a higher ABV than the last one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this does not say... Not much higher, but... No, it doesn't, say, uh, it doesn't say cold brew or anything like that, so this could just be, you know, coffee beans thrown into the, into the wort. Um... Harry Porter is their is their porter that they uh, they basically play with. Uh, they make lots of different variants of Harry Porter, and they always have really intriguing names that kind of sound like different Harry Porter, uh, Harry Potter movies. Uh, and if you buy the regular Harry Porter, it has a uh, has a wizard on the front. No. You're a wizard, Harry. They didn't uh, get flagged for that. Not yet. Not until somebody from, from, where is it, Paramount? Who does it? From Harry, no, Harry Potter from, fuck, I can't remember now. Yeah, until they watch your, your reviews. It's not, it's not Disney, because Disney tried to do the, uh, the Narnia to combat it. It's black. Yeah, it's black. It has that fuzzy, uh, the fuzzy brownish head. Oh, that smells divine, That dude. smells good. That smells real good. That actually reminds me of the last one, except it's more more chocolate and more dark roast to me. And out of the bottle, I get a lot more roasted malt. I get that kind of like a charred wood scent. I get like I don't know if this is right. To, if it's maybe my smoker's nose playing with me on this one, but I get like a vinous a little bit. I don't know why. I'm getting some kind of like a, I wouldn't say total grapes or anything like that, but I'm getting a. Maybe a plum. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. That's you, what I'm, you know what you're getting. I'm also know. getting. I'm also getting the chocolate in there and, and a little bit of the coffee. But you know what? This is probably just coffee beans thrown in. Let's we'll try. Let's see. Cheers. 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 Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I haven't even taken my sip of mine. Harry Potter. It's good, but it's not as good as the last one. No, but this is very good. Yeah. This is very easy to drink at six and a half. Six and a half, you are correct. I would agree with you. Very easy to put down. Oh. My dog is chewing on his on where his nuts used to be. Mm. It is easy to drink, but the little you can there's a little bit of alcohol burn on this one. Only not much, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm mumbling on, but I mean it's more apparent. In this there's one there's a lot more of that char to this. There's a yes. lot more of that charred wood. There's a lot more of that uh, deep, dark flavor. There's a lot more uh, dark roasted coffee. And I, I think for co like I, I drink my coffee black if I drink it at all. But I think uh, dark roasts aren't really my thing. Because that's that's what I'm saying. Like The last one was better for me personally. The last one was a, a sweeter, more just coffee flavor. Where this one's more like a bitter, it's been sa it's no, sat the in the pot had, too long. The other one had that mocha flavor. That's, what, that's the difference. There's no apparent... This one, Mocha. this one tastes like it's sat in the pot for a while on yeah. the on the heating element. Like longer than twenty minutes at Timmy's. Now that it's breathed a little more, though, as I drink it, I get that kind of plum scent. Yeah. As I'm as I'm putting it up to my face, not really tasting it. Like I said, for me, I'm tasting mostly just char, dark roasted coffee, mm -hmm. and a touch, a very slight touch of a of a of a chocolate note. It's not bad. I mean, it's drinkable. It it's, is drinkable. It's, it's a light-bodied beer. It's a drinkable beer. It, it's full-flavored, though. A um, little bit heavier mouthfeel than... No, not heavier. I mean... It's... A, it's Yeah, it's... I don't know. I'm just not just fucking blabbing on. I'm going to say it's a medium, medium mouthfeel on this one. Okay. For some reason, this feels like a medium... Like a... Better mouthfeel than the than the other one, like for thicker. Um, respect, for some reason, I don't know why. I personally would probably give this one. Uh, I gave the last one a nine two five. 
I like this one, I just don't like it as much. I'd probably put it at, like, uh, you know what, I'd probably take a full grade off. I'd probably give it an 825. It's a solid beer, it's a very good beer. I would go out of my way to get the beer, but I don't think it's uh, it's world class like the last one. I would get this again. Uh, agreed, it's not world class. And this is very good and very very nice to share with someone on this yeah. one. This one I don't want, I wouldn't want to drink a whole bottle in this city because you know what? Not because of the 6.5 ABV, I'm just talking. It would probably get old. Exactly. That's exactly what I want to say. So I'm going to give this one, you know, I'm going to give this one a 7.75. Okay, 7.75 and an 8.25 from the Rhino and from In the Basement. Thank you very much, Greg, for picking it up. Project X from GLB. If you're ever in the GLB area, which is in Etobicoke, you should go out. They always have their, their core brands and they usually have one or two different Project X beers out there, which is basically just letting their brewers have fun with something. And this is what they came up with. It's a great little beer. So these don't last forever? No. Okay. No. How fresh are these? Very? Uh, well, he started doing my last order, started buying the stuff for me at the end of January, so somewhere between January and now. Perfect. He dropped these off a few days ago. Perfect. So thank you guys. Bye.